everyone. Today I'm sitting down with Circle of Care, which is a non-for-profit home care provider for individuals living in the GTA. With me today are Allison Kubita, Talent Acquisition Lead, and Tara Stickwood, a Client Services Supervisor and a Registered Nurse. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's Thank nice you. to be here. Thanks for having us. Today, both Allison and Tara are going to share some information about Circle for Care and the opportunities for PSWs. So, Allison, I'm going to start with you, and I was wondering if you could tell us a bit about Circle of Care. What's the history and focus of the company, as well as the programs offered? Sure. So, first of all, thank you for having us. Circle of Care was founded in 1974, and we're the home care arm of Sinai Health. So we provide care to seniors in their homes uh, really across the greater Toronto area. The focus of our services is personal care. So our personal support workers travel from home to home in order to provide care to clients in the space that they're really the most comfortable in their, their home. We also provide a variety of other services, including a kosher meals on wheels program, I ride, which is our subsidized transportation program. We've got an adult day program and several other services available to seniors. That's great. I, I know um, I know the meals on wheels quite well. My mother used the service and it was amazing. Really great service. Awesome. What sort of job opportunities do you recruit for? Can you share the hiring process? Sure, so we are looking for personal support workers uh, across the greater Toronto area, applicants can apply online at circleofcare.com slash careers. So if they meet the minimum criteria from an education perspective, they'll hear from a member of the human resources team. Following a phone screen, candidates that are chosen to move forward will be interviewed through Zoom by one of our client services supervisors or a member of the human resources team. After you accept an offer with Circle of Care, there's several e-learning modules as well that um, require completion before starting with us in the community. Okay, well, that's great information to know. It's always good to know the process so grads can have a great understanding of what needs to be in place um, and what they can expect. Um, there is something I learned about. It's called the PSW Return of Service Incentive. And can, Elsa, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So the PSW return of incentive, return of service incentive program, I should say, it's administered by Ontario Health and it's for new grads who have graduated on or before, on or after April 1st of 2021. It awards employees with up to a $5,000 bonus. Uh, again, administered through Ontario Health for up to six months of tenure with a long-term care or, or home care organization. So if you are eligible as a new grad, you would receive $2,000 after working for two months with a long-term care organization or a home care organization, and then $3,000 after six months of employment. Uh, a couple of stipulations as part of the program, you must maintain full-time hours and start with the organization by January 15th of 2022. Well, that sounds like a great incentive. And I, I would imagine you're getting a lot of response through that incentive. Um, Absolutely. Now, yeah. And, and Tara, I wanted to ask you just a little bit about what a typical day would look like for a PSW with Circle of Care. Um, so generally, our, the days are spent out in the community, um, visiting our clients um, in their homes and getting to connect with the clients and their family members as well. Um, PSWs are receiving real-time information on their mobile device, which is provided by us. Um, they get to log in and out of their visits using that mobile device. They're also doing their COVID screening on themselves daily and on each client um, at the beginning of every visit and um, getting a getting um, communication from the supervisors as well. So um, there's constant communication between the PSWs and the offices um, for messaging and um, up to date information about the clients. Okay, that's great. And, you know, given that the city is a very diverse city, I would imagine there are certain skills that you look for and maybe additional languages may be really an important asset to have when applying for specific jobs, the, the specific PSW jobs. Is that right, Allison? 
Absolutely. So it is an asset to bring additional languages. In particular, we have a lot of Russian speaking clients um, in general and as part of our Holocaust Survivor Services program. So being Russian speaking is definitely an asset as part of your application. Okay. Um, and so that's one skill that would really sort of lift your chances, I guess, of being hired into position, having an additional language. What are some other soft skills that, that make a difference for success uh, in the hiring process or once they're in the, the organization? Sure. So the way in which we provide care to clients, we know is as important as the care plan tasks themselves. One of the values with circle of care is person centered care. So bringing the ability to build a warm and compassionate rapport with your clients, also listen to clients, help understand what their individual needs are, can really help work within their preferences and develop a trusting therapeutic relationship with the individual, um, as well as help maintain their, their independence. And that's got to be really important. So that that rapport building, it would probably be essential. Uh, it helps the clients to to feel safe, to feel to feel supported. So great. Um, how do you onboard new PSW hires and build a sense of community to support those hires? Sure. So all of our onboarding is done digitally at the moment. We have our new hires complete several e-learning modules to really help instill them with the knowledge they need regarding scope of practice and also circle of cares policies and procedures that they'll need to know when they're providing care in the community. Uh, a lot of different things to ensure we're building that community, although we can't gather together. So as part of our orientation, we do host a Zoom meeting for our group of new hires. It's facilitated by our learning and development team, and it really allows that group to ask any questions they have about their e-learning and ensure that they feel comfortable with the technology, with the practices, with the policies and procedures before they go out for their first visit in the community. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, the PSWs who are new to the organization will receive a call from the HR team uh, twice within their first month. So a call to check in when they're out moving from client to client in the community to see how things are going, answer any questions that they might have or address any concerns. In addition to that, they'll be invited to an optional paid hour session uh, a session we call the new hire support forum. So every two months we host a session facilitated by the human resources team, attended by our service coordination team and our client services supervisor team to facilitate conversation with our new hires. So this is a great forum to get to know some faces, meet peers, and also ask those questions that are inevitably going to come up the first couple of weeks that you are providing care in the community and really to get the support and consultation so that you're set up for success when maybe you encounter a similar question in future with a different client. Um, the, the really key relationships for a new personal support worker is their client services supervisor, that's their community nurse, mm -hmm. as well as their service coordinator. So they can expect a call from both of those members of their team the week before they start in the community, as well as several check-ins through their first month to answer any questions that they have or address any concerns, uh, learn new information, again, to make sure they feel really supported and set up for success as they continue to provide care. And that is really thorough support. I would think that it, you know, a lot of grads when they're first starting a job are a little bit nervous about, you know, applying their skills and, and the expectation of a particular organization, but it sounds like circle of care really has that covered, which is, is great. Um, Tara, I wanted to ask you, because you've got, you know, your ear to the ground, so to speak, um, and you hear about the PSW's experiences, what, do you, what are you hearing about what they enjoy most about working with Circle of Care? I think that the one-on-one -on -one connection with their clients is um, definitely uh, gratifying for the workers, and, and I hear that a lot. They really like to kind of um, form that connection and I also hear from the clients that, you know, they like having that one on one where they have a person that they know they can rely on. And it's a comfort to them when that person is going to be in their home. 
Um, so that's definitely one thing. Another thing is just the idea of getting to collaborate with other healthcare professionals. Um, our, our PSWs definitely enjoy that aspect as well. They're a part of a team. They're not just working on their own. And again, that is something that that is reassuring when a grad starts a job is to know that they are not alone, um, that there's support that they can reach out to, that they uh, they have that that sense of team that's watching out for them. Nice. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Um, Allison, what are some career pathways that PSWs could explore once they're in the organization? Um, and how does HR support them to move around uh, within the organization, and explore some various opportunities that might be available to them? Sure. So after a year in role, a personal support worker can explore other opportunities within the agency. We have a corporate team that supports our frontline workers. Two opportunities that we do see personal support workers express an interest in and have had success in that transition is our client services representative role, as well as our service coordination role. These are two teams that provide support over the phone and uh, I'll say behind um, the front line to make sure that our clients and our personal support workers are set up for support, um, set up for success. So that's help scheduling, help responding to urgent inquiries and making sure clients and personal support workers get um, connected with the right resources. Uh, the circle of care team is also in the process of developing a preceptorship program. So that will allow selected personal support workers with the opportunity to enhance their coaching and mentorship skill set and really provide that training and support to new personal support workers. So they would continue to work within a personal support worker role, but this would be an opportunity to expand their skill set and really provide leadership to their peers. The final route that comes to mind for me would be that shift to a client services supervisor. So if a personal support worker returns to school, becomes an RN or an RPN, um, they would be eligible to apply to a, a client services supervisor role as well. That's the role that Tara's in um, where you are responsible for leading a team of personal support workers and providing care to a portfolio of clients. So there's lots of options, actually. It's interesting. Um, and I know that anyone starting a career is always looking to see, well, I can start, I can do this for a few years. Where can I go once I'm in there? So it sounds like there's a variety of options and that's good to know. Um, when you're looking at resumes, I know I get a lot of questions from grads around, well, what do I need to have on a resume? And Allison, when you're looking at those resumes for PSW, what do you, what do you typically look for? Sure. So home care experience is certainly an asset for personal support workers at Circle of Care or experience having had worked with seniors in the past. That said, we're very open to new grads. So if you don't have that experience, but you are motivated and compassionate and really importantly, comfortable working autonomously, we would be more than happy to have a conversation, get to know you and determine if there is a potential fit with, with Circle of Care. Great. Um, can you talk to the growth in the in the long term care industry, health science industry, and how does circle of care impact the community it serves? Sure. So I think we've all realized, especially through the last two years, really the value of aging at home. It's continuing to be recognized by clients, by caregivers, and also our healthcare systems. As we continue to see the volume of services increase in home care. Um, individuals really want to maintain their independence while they're aging. So this is only naturally going to increase the number of opportunities in this work setting, as well as the importance of, of that care. I see the number of opportunities for personal support workers to work in the community uh, only get greater over, over the coming years. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that this is an area you've got that the, the boomers coming through um, and the need is is huge. And I think after experiencing what's happened during COVID, um, we know the importance uh, of these roles in the larger community and taking care of, of those that are that are aging. So Tara, what would be important for a PSW applicant to know about working at Circle of Care in order to be set up for success? Uh, two, two things that I find are really important. One is be prepared 
to get a lot of communication coming at you and be responsive to that. And um, that's it's really important to be prepared that you know your your supervisor, your coordinator are going to be wanting to reach out to you, provide information, or ask you questions. And um, it's important because we have a responsibility to our clients and to our funders to be responding with certain information that they might be asking for. Um, and the other thing is just be flexible. So know that. Um, you you might sh be expecting uh, clients to need personal care, but we also have some clients who receive housekeeping or some clients who may need more of um, uh, socialization and interaction with somebody. And so being prepared to provide more than just your basic personal care um, is quite important for a lot of our clients mm -hmm. and, um, and actually it can become a real highlight in your day. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and our, our clients really look forward to that as well. That's excellent. There we so, have, I'll add two points to that as yeah. well, just based on having sp uh, spoken with so many new hires with circle of care. Uh, enjoying their time in the community. It's important to understand that our personal support workers do travel from home to home to provide care. So mm -hmm. many folks, um, you know, think of care for seniors in the context of a facility environment. The thing that makes Circle of Care unique is that we have an opportunity to provide care to clients in the comfort of their own home. So that really sets the stage for a positive therapeutic relationship with the client and sometimes the caregiver as well. Our personal support workers will get to know the client's caregiver. They're part of that care team. Um, it does require travel. So uh, if you have a car, great. If you don't, no problem. You can certainly travel through TTC, but be uh, aware that traveling from home to home will be a part of your day-to-day -day, uh, schedule as, as a personal support worker in a community environment. And uh, the value in providing care in someone's home, I think certainly is, is fulfilling for a lot of our, our personal support workers. No, oh, I think so too. You know, sort of deinstitutionalizing it is a is a is a wonderful way to look at it, and the comfort and security in one's home is is definitely important. Now, you mentioned earlier, Allison, how someone would reach out if they wanted to apply, and can you say that again? I know it was a it, maybe it was the website they have to go to, but how do they reach out if if a grad's interested? Yeah, they can visit us online at www.circleofcare.com slash careers. We always have a posting open for personal support workers as well as homemaking opportunities. So that's a great call out as well, that if you are currently going to school and you want to start working part-time and you don't have your personal support worker diploma yet, I do encourage you to take a look at the homemaker opportunity, it could be a great stepping stone into an organization like Circle of Care to start to work part-time, build your client rapport skills. And once you've graduated as a personal support worker, you very well may have an opportunity to make that shift into a personal support worker role. So, so again, it's www.circleofcare.com slash careers to apply online. If you meet those minimum educational requirements, we will certainly give you a shout to speak further by phone. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Allison and Tara. If anyone out there is interested in reaching out to get more information, go to the website or feel free to connect with me at tgrace at georgebrown.ca. Take care. Bye for now.